guys who are going to swing the league for better or worse. There's the guys with some unknown. They aren't the givens. Russell Wilson's going to be great this year. We know it. Breeze, Rivers, Brady, Roethlisberger, they're all going to be great. We know it. These are the guys who we just don't really know. Now, we start off at number five, Derek Carr. Six years a starter. He's never been in a playoff game. Number four, Juju Smith-Schuster. Is he really going to be a number one after A.B., or is he a number two? How about our number three? Number three on the list, Lamar Demetrius Jackson Jr. This is a good one, guys, because Lamar is not just pivotal. This is a prototype. We are all together wading into uncharted waters with this dude. We don't know what's coming. He may show up this fall, look more polished and conventional, and start throwing 30 times a game fine. Hmm. But it's tough to imagine, considering the last time we saw Lamar, he was only throwing eight passes in the first half of a home playoff game in which Baltimore was getting shut out. Now, all that excitement last year, all that winning, it makes you a little nervous about the sustainability of it when you consider he never once even threw for 200 yards in a game. That he broke the all-time record for quarterbacks with 27 carries in one game. And then there's this. This offseason, the Ravens brought in former Georgia Tech and Navy head coach Paul Johnson to watch tape with. The man who is a czar of the triple option offense. Now, the idea of an NFL Tommy Frazier in 2019, guys, that's exciting as hell. It also sounds gimmicky and extremely risky for injury. There is downside to trying to maximize Lamar's talents. But holy crap, there's so much upside because, guys, Lamar, we have still yet to see the classic break Twitter Lamar highlight. It's coming because not only could he be the fastest player on the field, imagine a whole season of running him here, running him there, and then he unleashes buttery throws like this one, which came against one of the best teams in all of football. Lamar Jackson of the shotgun. Off the play fake, Jackson throwing down the seam. He's got his rookie tight end, Andrew. Shot to top of 20, 10, 5, touchdown Ravens! A 68-yard throw and catch. And a beautifully thrown football by Lamar Jackson. And in two plays, the Ravens answer the Chargers. Yes, they do. You want more optimism? Let's shoot down this dusty old idea that teams will have tape on him and will be ready. Yeah. Let me show you a list of the rookie quarterbacks for the last 30 years like Lamar who made the playoffs. There's Lamar. Dak, future of the Dallas Cowboys. RG3 got a lot of injuries. Andrew Luck, awesome quarterback. Russell Wilson, awesome. Dalton, franchise quarterback. Sanchez, the not of the same sustainability. Flacco, Super Bowl champ. Matt Ryan, MVP. Ben Roethlisberger, Hall of Famer. That's the group. That is an incredible club to be part of, and Lamar's the newest member. And with the departures in Pittsburgh, the changes in Cleveland and Cincy, it feels like the AFC North is waiting for someone to grab the torch for the next five years. If the Ravens figure out how to unleash this football catnip on the league, it's theirs. But if they fail him or they break him, it is the mm. back of the line. The number three most pivotal player in the 2019 NFL season, Lamar Jackson. What do you guys think? D. Hall, why is he such a nightmare to defend? He's a nightmare because just like Kyle said, <clears throat> you never see the fastest guy on the football field be the quarterback, besides with Michael Vick, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We're saying Kyler Murray might be this kind of guy, right? Lamar Jackson possesses that ability. And like Kyle said, if he can throw the football, Huh. What? Watch out, because mm -hmm. we know he can run it. But if he can throw that football like we've seen him do in college, and we know he has it in yeah. him. Uh -huh. huh. He did it last I year. Like he him. threw the ball. We saw Nate Burleson break it down, and if he can do both of those things, watch out. D'Angelo, two seconds. You played with Mike Vick. Could he be a better quarterback than Michael Vick? Yes. Yes. Because today's NFL is different. It will allow him to put four receivers out there and spread it out. Yeah. Mike was doing it with two tight ends, a fullback, more people at the line of scrimmage. Spread them out. Boop, 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 boop. Go time, Lamar. Big, pivotal. big time. That's for sure. <laughs> we'll three. have Kyle's number two pivotal player tomorrow. Do not miss that. But there's another pivotal guy in the